Hey everyone, it's me, Rodney Barnes, Realtor with my home group. Thank you for joining me on today's segment. I'm so happy because the question from buyers is, what do I do after I get an accepted offer from the seller? And that is such an exciting question because as a buyer, you found the perfect place, you submitted an offer, you now have an acceptance. So congratulations because guess what? You're moving forward. But what do you do next? What's the next step? So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna share just a couple of items with you that'll help you after you get an acceptance from the seller. Now, one of the first things that's going to happen is the title company is going to collect your earnest deposit. And depending on your contract, that could be in the form of a personal check, a cashier's check, even a wire transfer. All three forms are acceptable. Now, once the title company receives this, they're going to acknowledge it by sending you a, de a deposit receipt or an earnest receipt. And so once you receive that, title company is going to start working on your file to process it. Now, the second thing that's probably going to happen is you're going to have a home and a termite inspection. If you purchased a house with a pool, you'll probably have a swimming pool inspection as well. Now, depending on the area, if you do have a home that is on acreage, you may have a well inspection and you'll have a septic inspection. So you want to prepare yourself for all these out of pocket expenses. Now, another thing to consider is when you do get an acceptance, your lender will then ask for additional information. And I know they've asked for so much up front already, they are going to ask for more. And it could be anything from letters of explanation to updated bank statements or pay stubs, things of that nature. But be prepared to hear from your lender requiring more documentation. So these are kind of the first three steps of the title company collecting your earnest, you starting your home inspections, and hearing from your lender with additional information that's going to be needed. So this is a very important time for you as a buyer. There's going to be a lot of things happening. There are a lot of moving parts. So communication is key. So I always suggest to my clients, please, please stay close to your phone because during these first maybe seven to 10 days, I'm going to be in constant contact with you, making sure I keep everybody in sync. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you know someone that could use this information, please share my video. If you do like the content that I'm providing, please hit the subscribe button and I'd love for you to be a part of my uh, YouTube channel. So Rodney Barnes, Realtor with my home group. I hope this information has been helpful. There's my number below. If you have any additional questions, I am always here to help. So thank you so much and have a fantastic day. Take care.